Hi, my name is Harry and I cover iMac football for CarolinaVarsity.com and today we're here to talk about a week two recap of iMac play and also preview the week three games. In week two of iMac play we saw Mallard Creek, Mooresville, West Charlotte, and Hopo walk away with victories. Common themes in the games this week were either blowout victories or come from behind wins. Mallard Creek was able to defeat Lake Norman 55 to nothing. Uh, not a big surprise in this one. Mallard Creek is the number one team in the state and considered by many to be a top 10 team in the country. Uh, running back Jaleigh Duncan had 192 yards rushing on only eight carries with four touchdowns. Says a lot about uh, the talent that Mallard Creek has. They're just going to continue to roll through their conference opponents. And unfortunately for Lake Norman, they were just overmatched in this one. After a tough loss in the opening week of conference play at the hands of Mallard Creek, Mooresville bounced back with a good win over Vance, 33 to nothing. Uh, from the beginning of the game to the end of the game, this was probably Mooresville's best complete game of the season. Um, Deontay Black had over 250 yards of offense, uh, and he added four touchdowns to the total. And defense pitched another shutout for Mooresville. And with West Charlotte coming up next week, look for this win to give them a little bit of momentum. The game between Huff and Hopewell turned out to be a thriller. Uh, Huff led for just about all the game, and Hopewell managed to keep it close but hadn't quite overtaken the lead. Uh, Hopewell had the ball on the last drive in the closing minutes of the game, drove down the field and put the ball in between the uprights on a last second field goal, uh, claiming victory 24-23 to over Huff. Another exciting game this Friday was between North Mech and West Charlotte. West Charlotte found themselves down 21 points to North Mech and things weren't looking very good, but they made a huge comeback, uh, scoring 21 unanswered and tied the game at 28 very late in the game and uh, proceeded to go on in overtime and win the game 31-28. North Mech continues to have its struggles while West Charlotte will look to have this victory carry some momentum into their big matchup with Mooresville next week. After week two of IMEC play, Mallet Creek still leads the way in the standings of IMEC Conference. Uh, West Charlotte follows them in the two spot, and behind them we have Mooresville, uh, Hopewell, and then we have Lake Norman, Huff, Vance, and North Mech. Heading into week three of IMEC play, Mallet Creek still leads the way in the IMEC rankings. Uh, they are the number one team in the state, and I don't believe any team in the IMET Conference this year has the capabilities to keep up with Mallard Creek this year. Uh, Mallard Creek shouldn't lose any conference games, and they are clearly the cream of the crop. I'm going to give the number two spot to Mooresville. I do still believe they are the second best team in conference, even after their loss to Mallard Creek. Um, their win against Vance was a very good one. They showed they have the capabilities to move the ball efficiently and score often, and the defense also played outstanding. Yes, Vance isn't the best competition, but it still was a solid win. Number three is where it gets a little more tricky. Um, I'm going to go with West Charlotte on that, though. They're kind of a wild card team. They're either here or there, but I do believe that with their speed, they are probably the third best team in conference. The number four spot is a virtual tie between Hopewell and Huff, but seeing as nobody likes ties and given Hopewell's victory over Huff on Friday night, I mean, give Hopewell the nod at the four spot. Um, they have been great so far this year. They have shown signs of potential, so I do believe that they are the fourth best team in conference. Close behind them is definitely Huff in the five spot. Uh, for second year school, they're doing quite well. Um, Injuries in their linebacking core have hurt them a little bit, but I do believe that they have the potential as well to make a little bit of noise in the conference. In the sixth spot, yes, I know they're 0-2 in conference play, but I do believe Vance is the sixth best team in conference so far. Um, their numbers are way down. They don't have a whole lot of uh, members on the team. Most of their players are playing both ways, including their star running back, Lorenz Bryant, who is also playing a linebacker. They lost their head coach at the beginning of the season. Um, just a lot of obstacles to overcome for that team. 
They do have a couple talented position players, as I mentioned, Lorenz Bryant, a um, couple fast receivers, and a speedy quarterback, but they just are lacking the, the numbers in the team this year. So I'm going to give them the sixth spot based on what I saw on Friday night against Mooresville. Um, they do have a little bit of potential to uh, win a couple of these games here, and uh, hopefully they will do so. Seven spot, uh, Lake Norman. Yes, they, uh, they they did win their first game against North Mech, but North Mech is also the last place team in the conference. Um, they did get beat pretty handily by uh, Mount Creek, 55 to nothing. I do believe that they also show a little bit of potential to maybe win two or three conference games this year. So we will see how that works itself out. In the eighth spot is North Mech. They're just not very good this year, unfortunately. Um, they have one offensive weapon. When you shut that down, you shut North Mech down. And um, the defense is not being able to hold their opponents uh, from scoring, and the offense is just not scoring. Um, with those combinations, it doesn't bode well for a team to put a, together a lot of victories. Uh, they may be able to win one or two of these conference games, but I, I wouldn't anticipate it. Um, unfortunately for Mech, North Mech, it's just not a good year. In week three, we do have a couple big matchups in IMEC this week. Um, none bigger than I believe is the matchup between West Charlotte and Morrisville. This game has a little bit on the line, uh, and that will be the number two spot in the conference if things go according to plan. Right now, West Charlotte is the number two team in the conference as standings go. They are 2-0 in conference, while Mooresville is in the three spot with a 1-1 conference record. Should Mooresville defeat West Charlotte, they will have a 2-1 conference record, same as West Charlotte, but they will hold the tiebreaker, therefore they would have the number two spot, and should they win out, will remain number two. So number two is up for grabs in this one, and uh, be prepared to see both teams come out fight ready for it, uh, because it does mean there will be a home playoff game on the line. I do see Mooresville coming out victorious in this one. I know West Charlotte's got some speed and some weapons, but I do believe Mooresville is going to start getting on a roll here, and I see them winning this one 35-14. Mallet Creek will have a little shot at retribution here this week against Vance. Uh, if you remember, Vance was the team that knocked Mallet Creek out of the playoffs last year with a 10-7 victory. Um, totally different teams this year. Mallet Creek is just far and beyond best team around. Unfortunately for Vance, like I said, their numbers are down. They do have a little bit of talent on that team, but in no way do I believe they have the horses to keep up with Mallet Creek in this one. So I see this game going 45-7 in favor of Mallet Creek. One of the more intriguing games this week in conference play is going to be between Lake Norman and Hopewell. Lake Norman's coming off the 55 to nothing loss against Mallard Creek. Kind of ran into a buzzsaw there. Uh, Hopewell's coming off their emotional win over Huff. I think Lake Norman has the ability to win this game. Their defense is, uh, is pretty good. Um, offensively, they're not as uh, talented, but they can put a few points on the board. Um, I believe, once again, they have the ability to win, all, win this game, but there's going to be a lot of variables that go into the deciding the winner of this game. One being is if Hopewell comes into the game flat and has an emotional letdown after their big win over Huff. Um, given all the circumstances, I believe Lake Norman wins the game, and I'm going to go with a 17-14 score. But once again, uh, this game could, could go very well either way. Um, I would be surprised if Hopewell did win this game, but I'm going to go with Lake Norman for right now. The other big matchup in IMEC this week is going to be between Huff and North Mech. This is a true rivalry game as Huff, when its school was created, pulled a lot of its students from North Mech and uh, there's a good rivalry between these two schools. Um, again, this isn't a very good year for North Mech. They have one offensive weapon and I do believe Huff has the has good enough defense to shut down North Mech's offensive weapons. Um, the biggest question for Huff is going to be, can they put points up on the board? I believe they can and they will against North Mech. So I see this game going about 28 to 10 in favor of Huff. That's it for this week's IMEC uh, recap and preview. Next week I'll be joined by IMECsports.com's Joe Cullen, and uh, he'll be here to break down and preview the next week of uh, IMEC play. So long. Um.